exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel and today we got some actually happy news and some funny news to talk about today. Instead of last uh, last episode's kind of somber celebration of life, we are going to be talking about something that's actually pretty funny today. So if you guys have not heard throughout the uh, the news cycle this past week or so, there's a football player on the Washington football team that uh, has been making some headlines, and not for any bad reasons, but for some pretty funny reasons. So, if you guys are not familiar, I'll, I'll fill you guys in on the, on the details. I'll give you guys the deets. So, Troy Apke is a younger player in the league. Not super young, probably about four, three, four years in the league he's been. I don't think he's off of his rookie contract yet, so we'll give that as the example. And the, the reason you probably don't know who Troy Apke is is because he's not the best player. He's not a stud. He's not a, a big-time name or anything. So that's probably one of the reasons why you don't know him, unless you're a hardcore football fan or you're even a Washington football team fan. That's probably Or you play Madden a lot. That's how I know him, because of Madden. So Troy Apke is a safety in the nfl or at least that's what he came into the league as was a safety but it wasn't really working out for him at safety so uh, rather than just getting cut by the washington football team and not making a team as a safety troy apke and the washington football team decided to switch in positions but they didn't switch him to wide receiver. They didn't switch him to linebacker. They didn't switch him to running back. No, they switched him to cornerback. And it's very, very significant that they switched him to cornerback because in the NFL, there has not been a white starting corner since 2002. And I bet you cannot guess. I will give you a hundred guesses. You cannot guess the man that is the last white corner in the NFL. Go on. Go on. I'm giving you time. I'm giving you time. Try and guess. You're wrong. You didn't get it. I guarantee it. Because I'm going to let you know who it is. And I actually forgot about this until I read the story. I used to have a little action figure toy of this guy. His name is Jason Seahorn for the New York Giants. Yeah, that name probably doesn't ring a bell to a lot of you guys. That I haven't heard that name in years, actually. That's, that's really crazy. But Jason Seahorn is the last white corner in the NFL back in 2002. How old were you in 2002? I bet some of you weren't even alive in 2002. I was like... Three. Yeah. Because I was born in the summer, so when the NFL season started, I would have been three. So there you go. But Troy Apke's gonna do it. Troy Apke made the 53 man roster. He is on the Washington football team roster. He will be a starting corner. I don't know what rank he'll be. I don't know if he'll be two, because he's not gonna be number one, because uh, they've got uh, one of the Fuller brothers there, right? Kendall Fuller, I think. But he's going to be like 2-3 in that, in that rotation of, of the corners in the football team locker room. So we got a white corner, boys. We did it. We won. We're victorious. We finally got a W, boys. We won. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face, man. I can't even say that with a straight face. Congratulations to Troy Aki, man. It's amazing. It's, it's so funny when you see stats that just like, you, you think would be true, but you never really gave any actual thought to to actually like look into or anything. So you just you just 
you're like, oh yeah, that I'm sure there's been a white cornerback in the NFL since 2002. Of course, there's been so many players filtering through the NFL since 2002. There's got to have been one white corner that started in the NFL, but but no, there hasn't since 2002. And Troy Opke's going to do it all these years later. Can you believe it? It's amazing, man. Troy Apke has done it. He succeeded. It's amazing, man. Congratulations to Troy Apke. These kind of stats I love. These kind of stats are just amazing because it gets you thinking about stuff that you haven't thought about in years. And it gets you saying like, wow, is that right? And then you got to go look back and you got to do some research and then that kind of stuff's fun, man. And then hearing about these stories are, are really cool because you think that it would be true that some white guy has started at corner in the NFL since 2002. But it's not. Then you go and look it up and you find out that it hasn't been true and no white corner has started in the NFL until Troy Apke, man. Congrats to Troy Apke. And I did read an article, or at least a he <laughs> I read a headline of an article. I didn't really read the article. But I read the headline of the article that said, fans are praising Troy Apke for doing this, but Troy Apke just wants to play football. He just wants to, he just wants to move on. So Troy Apke is one of those guys that doesn't live in the spotlight. He doesn't want his name out there. He doesn't want to be talked about. He just wants to put his head down and do his job on the football field. And I, I respect that, man. I respect that. If I was him, I would be on top of this. I would be, I would be on national television saying, praising this. Cause it, it just jump into the meme, jump into the meme embrace the the funniness embrace the memeage and just just go with it man it, that's how i would react to it if, if i was the first white corner to start in the nfl since uh jason seahorn but Troy Apke is a different guy he's a, he's a different breed he, he wants to just put his head down focus on football get the job done that, and I, I respect that man i respect that go get your money but that's probably gonna be it for me <laughs> for this episode let me know what you guys think down below uh are you guys shocked that this is the first white corner to start in the NFL since 2002? Or are you guys not shocked? Because I actually was kind of shocked. I thought there had to have been some guy that started in the NFL that was white at corner since 2002. But I was wrong. I was wrong. So let me know down below what you guys think. If you guys are shocked or not. Let me know also how you think your NFL team is going to do. Because I've got my official... NFL predictions coming here pretty soon within this week before the NFL season starts on Thursday. So stick around for that. Keep an eye out for that because they're going to be huge, huge, huge. They're going to be a banger. So you better stick around for it. That's going to do it for me, though. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Make sure to smash that like button, hit that notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.